Welcome to Mountain Brook Farm. My name is Wade Belter, and I would like to talk to you about a Hollenlop litter that we have. The dam of the litter is Mountain Brook Mina, a Vienna Carrier, Blue Magpie, Hollenlop Doe, and the sire of the litter is Taylor Made Jebediah, a possible Vienna Carrier, Chocolate Silver Martin, Hollenlop Buck. This is a possible Vienna Carrier Chocolate Chinchilla Hollenlop Doe. It is a Gaudi. Chinchillas usually have a brown eye. The eyes on this rabbit are blue-gray and they have a ruby cast to them. The sire of this litter has a litter with another doe, Iceland, that we have and they have sable in the litter. So I suspect that the ruby cast is possibly um, sable based, but the only way to prove it is to test breed them. This kit is chocolate chinchilla and the surface color on top and sides of the body is to be pearl white, ticked with dark chocolate there is a chocolate band at the top of the intermediary band. The intermediary band is to be well-defined pearl white over a dove gray undercolor. The top of the tail is to be chocolate, sparsely ticked with white over a dove gray undercolor. The chest is to be a pearl white over a dove gray undercolor. The nape of the neck is to be white the ears are to be laced in chocolate. The eyes are typically brown. Rabbits are faulted for being too light or for being too dark. This rabbit has ruby cast gray eyes. The eyes are uh, a gray color. The sire of this rabbit has another litter right now and there are sable kits in that litter. It's very possible that the ruby cast on the eye is due to being a possible Vienna carrier, but it's also possible that there is sable. The American Rabbit Breeders Association standard is that a chocolate chinchilla will have brown eyes. Here is a possible Vienna Carrier Black Silver Martin Hollenlop Buck. And this little guy has brown eyes. Brown eyes. Black Silver Martin is from the tan group of rabbit colors. And the most commonly noted tan group rabbit would be the black otter, chocolate otter. Well, when you add the chinchilla gene, such as this breeding has with the black silver martin, you have a gene that will remove all of the yellow an orange from the coat and that's where the white markings that kind of look like a Gaudi but it's not a Gaudi this is from the tan group um, the chinchilla gene just removes all of the yellow and orange you can see it's kind of creamy inside the nose this is a black silver martin and it does have a white belly, just like a uh, otter would have.
Here is a Blue Eyes Vienna Marked Black Silver Martin Hollenlop Doe. When the eye color is partially blue, we consider that to be Vienna Marked. Black Silver Martin is from the tan group of rabbit colors, and you can see the white lacing around the eyes, the white inside of the ears, the white belly, and the white underside of the tail. It's similar to a Gaudi, but it's not. So I'm not finding that Silver Martin is a acknowledged variety in Holland Lops, but in Netherland Dwarfs, the surface color of the head outside of the ears, front of forefeet, outside of hind feet, and top and sides of the body are to be of the surface and under color as described in the respective self varieties. Black, blue, chocolate, and lilac. The nostrils, eye circles, jowls, inside of the ears, triangular, um, triangle, triangle collar back of the forefeet inside of the hind feet and legs belly and underside of the tail are to be silver white in color prominent silver white guard hairs are to be evenly distributed around the chest sides and lower hindquarters this is a possible vienna carrier chinchilla hollenlop and Gender is not determined yet, so it's possibly a doe. First time I checked, I thought it was a boy. Today I checked, and I'm thinking it's a girl. So, we are just going to have to wait and see. Let's take a look at the eye color here. The eye color should be brown on a chinchilla. These are dark eyes. Chinchilla is from the Agaudi group and there should be um, white or cream eye circles. Uh, the inside of the ears should be white. The underside of the jowls should be white. The belly should be white. The underside of the tail should be white. The Agaudi group. Chinchilla. The su surface color on top and sides of the body is to be pearl white, ticked with jet black. There is a black band at the top of the intermediary band. The intermediary band is to be a well defined pearl white over a dark slate blue undercolor. The chest is to be pearl white over a dark slate blue under color. The top of the tail is to be black, sparsely ticked with white over a dark slate blue under color. The nape of the neck is to be white with the ears laced in black. Eyes typically are brown. Each strand of hair has segmented bands of color. This is a possible Vienna carrier, Chinchilla Hollenlop Doe. Let's look at her eye color. It looks brown. Yep, brown eyes. There you see the white belly with the slate under color. The surface color on top and sides of the body is to be pearl white, ticked with jet black. There is a black band at the top of the intermediary band. The intermediary band is to be well-defined pearl white 
over a dark slate blue undercolor. The chest is to be a pearl white over a dark slate blue undercolor. The top of the tail is to be black, sparsely ticked with white over a dark slate blue undercolor. The nape of the neck is to be white with the ears laced in black. Eyes are brown. Each strand of hair has segmented bands of color. We have reached the end of our presentation. Thank you for following along. Goodbye.